At Frank, the Baldwin Wallace poll has Kasich almost called a statistical tie, trailing Trump by two points, but within that margin of error. What this poll looked at, though, that others haven't, is what if the contest was only Kasich and Trump? The debate stage may no longer be packed with 12 candidates, but the field even at five remains divided. The Baldwin Wallace University poll released today finds in Ohio Donald Trump and John Kasich in a statistical tie given the margin of error, with Trump leading 31 to 29 percent and Cruz, Rubio and Carson roughly 20 points off the pace. I think the biggest thing is that this shows that John Kasich has the home state advantage in Ohio. News Channel 5 political analyst Tom Sutton led the Baldwin-Wallace survey, which did something other polls haven't. Looked at what would happen if instead of five, there were just two Republicans in Trump and Kasich. They found in Ohio, Kasich would win the primary by 17 points. I think that was really a surprise and it was again showing that because he's the one that's better known, he is seen as more of a conservative perhaps and that perhaps plays well to Ohio voters. I think there is some concern about what Donald Trump might represent among Ohio voters. Beyond the primary, their poll shows in a general election, Trump beating Clinton by two points and Sanders by five points in Ohio. It shows Kasich's November margin, though over Sanders is 17 points and 21 points over Clinton. Numbers that nearly mirrored Quinnipiac results also released this morning. Head to head, he's clearly the one that people are looking for. So that is 62 percent approval rating among Ohio voters. I think John Kasich really has a good shot at possibly winning Ohio. Ah, but the key is he has to get to Ohio. And to do that, he needs a couple of strong showings in some Super Tuesday states next week in Michigan on March 8th. We'll have more on that tonight at 6. Live in the newsroom, John Kasich, News Channel 5.